These men say it all boils down to the right mindset. The Tigers bring with them a wealth of experience. This is Jarencho's third finals appearance in eight seasons and the squad's second straight appearance in the UAAP finals. Fresh off a Game 2 win are the Green Archers. Absent from the UAAP finals for a while now, this is the team's first appearance since 2008. Newbie head coach Juno Soler came in only three weeks before the season started. Even after losing Game 1, morale was high. We lost that game but the, the season wasn't over. So everyone knew that there was for the season to be done, we need, we need two wins. So they, they, we just focus on the next game and try to work on the things that we needed to improve on. Tigers and the Archers have been through hell to get to the finals. The Tigers knocked out the Ateneo Blue Eagles to secure the last lot in the Final Four. Then they defeated top-seeded National University twice in a row. Herencio says the week-long break between Game 2 and 3 is a huge respite. He says in Filipino, quote, The one-week break is a big deal because we've been through one knockout game after another. Prior to Game 1 of the Finals, LaSalle went on a wild winning streak sweeping the second round and booting out the FEU Tamaraos in a best-of-three series. I want... I, I can accept that there are other teams who probably are taller, stronger, or um, more athletic than us, but I just want us to be in a very uh, stable and mental uh, stage wherein we can say that we're the smartest. History will be made on Saturday. Will LaSalle beat an experienced UST squad ending the university's drought? Or will UST go on to break another UAAP record and be the first fourth seed to clinch the crown? Bea Kupin Rappler, Manila.